This is a quick demonstration of how to test a multiplayer gaming system over the internet using Candela Technologies wired and wireless network test products. The game we chose for this demo is Rocket League with two players playing against each other over the internet. Please note that the intention of this video is to only demonstrate the capabilities of the Candela products and we are in no way commenting on or evaluating the gaming console or the Rocket League gaming app we used in this video. Rocket League is a registered trademark of Psyonix Inc. and is not affiliated with Candela Technologies. It's important to measure the end-to-end -end user experience of the gamers when playing real-time multiplayer games on the internet over a Wi-Fi network. Step 1 is to test with many different types of APs and Wi-Fi network settings. Step 2 would be to add network impairments on the wired network to emulate network latency, jitter, packet loss, and so on and see how the gaming software will adapt to these events on the network. Step 3 would be to test in the presence of wireless network impairments like various distances from the AP and crowded environments causing co-channel and adjacent channel interference from other APs and devices in the vicinity. Candela Landforge test systems are fully capable of conducting these tests in the lab in a controllable, repeatable and automatable test environment. In this demo, we show a snapshot of how LandForge can be used to measure user experience of real-time gaming over the network. This is a picture of the testbed setup. On the far left, we have the console for player 1 connected directly to the internet and on the far right, we have the console for player 2 placed in an RF chamber. In the middle, we have a chamber that has a LandForge system that emulates the network and all the impediments. If you take a more detailed look inside, you can see that the network chamber contains the LAN4 system that does AP emulation, wired network impairments, and wireless network impairments. The gaming console is connected to the network using RF cables that go through a programmable attenuator that can emulate distance. All systems are controlled from the LAN4 user interface shown on the center monitor. The left monitor shows player 1's video link in real time and the right one shows player 2's video link. Meet our Rocket League players Isaac and Brent. Isaac and Brent are equally ranked in the game of Rocket League and are matched to play a game of Rocket League over the internet to see who is the better player. Isaac has an excellent broadband internet connectivity at his home and Brent lives in a college dorm with poor network connectivity. Given the real-time nature of the game they are playing, the network can really affect the performance of the game and might put Brent at a disadvantage when playing a game against Isaac. To create this scenario, we have Isaac's gaming console connected to the internet through a wired network connection and Brent's gaming console is connected to a wireless network using the Candela network in a box. Inside this RF enclosure, we have an entire network emulated by the Candela Landford system. We have three radios on the Landford system here. The first radio is used to emulate a Wi-Fi network that Brent's gaming console is connected to. And then the other two radios are used to emulate interference and a lot of background traffic to create the college room, dorm room environment in the lab. Between the chambers, is a, a set of programmable attenuators that would simulate distance between the AP and the gaming console. Along with the wireless network impairments, we also have the capability of providing network impairments on the wired side using the Candela WAN emulation feature. The WAN emulation feature can create latency and delays, jitter and packet loss on the wired network and measure the effects of these on the performance of the game. Now, we're going to show a demonstration of how the WAN emulation feature can affect the performance of the game. So here we are in the LandForge user interface. We have the gaming console chamber that has the gaming console, and we have the network chamber that has the LandForge system that emulates the wireless network and also all the wired impairments behind the wireless network and the gaming server. So in this section of the user interface, the user can configure different amounts of WAN impairments. 
so we can fix the maximum transfer rate that determines the maximum bandwidth between the gaming server and the gaming console. We can also set different amounts of delay on the packets that are being transmitted between the server and the console. We can also set a certain amount of drop frequency. So for example, if you set a 5% drop frequency, that would cause the Landford system to randomly drop about 5% of the packets between the gaming server and the console. We can also set different amounts of jitter, jitter frequency, we can duplicate packets at any amount of frequency or we can drop bursts of packets between the gaming server and the console. So for this demo, we're going to apply about 100 milliseconds of delay between the gaming server and the console, which means that all the packets that are coming in from the server would be delayed by about 100 milliseconds before they get to Brent's console. Now, let's see how this particular impairment would affect Brent's experience. Now we can see Brent's network connectivity is really poor and that affects his overall gaming experience. We can see that the position of the ball is not updating fast enough for Brent to be able to effectively play the game. And we can also clearly see high latency and high latency variation indications on the game that puts Brent at a really high disadvantage when compared to Isaac in this particular game. Yes. Next, let's see how the programmable attenuation and the distance emulation feature affects Brent's overall gaming experience. So now let us see in the UI how we can create some wireless impairments. We talked about two types of wireless impairments, simulating distance between the network and the gaming console, and also creating background co-channel interference using the other radios in the LAN port systems. To simulate distance, uh, the UI allows it to do in a very simple fashion. We can connect these two chambers using programmable attenuation links. And to simulate distance, all we have to really do is we have to drag this chamber away from the network chamber and the UI has an algorithm built into it where it converts this distance into actual attenuation and apply different amounts of attenuation values between the gaming console and the network. We can see that right now the, the access point is seeing about a minus 73 dB of signal from the station. If you bring it closer, the signal will get much better. You'll see about 40, minus 40, minus 50 dB. And right now it shows minus 60. We bring it even closer and decrease attenuation, the signal strength will get uh, even better between the gaming console and the network. Now to simulate the distance, what we're really doing is we're just moving it far away and uh, we, it would be interesting to see how uh, this kind of attenuation would affect again, Brent's gaming experience. The second type of uh, impairments we talked about is co-channel interference and adjacent channel interference. So we use the other two Landforge radios in the system to create 10 co-channel APs talking to 10 different co-channel stations operating in the same frequency band and doing one megabit per second each of TCP traffic. Now again, this would be very interesting to see how an environment that we've created that represents a college dorm with lots of other people sharing the internet connection would affect Brent's gaming experience. With the gaming console moved far away from the access point, we can see that there is high packet loss latency and latency variation in the game. And that is again, once again, putting Brent at a big disadvantage. Now in this demonstration, we also have uh, the Landfall system creating a bunch of background traffic, uh, background access points and stations creating co-channel interference. And we can see that also, it's also affecting Brent's overall gaming experience. Landfall systems can be used to create even more complex scenarios such as this one. In this scenario, we have up to 16 gamers simultaneously testing gaming apps over the internet through a Landforce system, and the Landforce system is the only test solution in the market that can emulate the wireless networks and apply unique wired and wireless impairment profiles for each gamer to measure the effects on the gaming app. In a very affordable and portable form factor, Candela offers AP emulation, WAN emulation, traffic generation, RF isolation, distance emulation, and many more features for gaming console makers and gaming app developers to measure effects of the network connectivity on the gaming user experience in a highly repeatable and automatable fashion. Our gaming test system started around $10,000 price point and we can build custom solutions based on the customer needs. 
please email us or call us if you'd like to see a more detailed demonstration and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have and also would love to hear from you about how we can make the system better fit your testing needs. More information about the Landford system capabilities is available at candelatech.com. Thank you.